The Word of God says that a curse without a cause cannot settle on a righteous person. Sin opens the door, primarily disobedience, for a curse to settle on a person. Generational curses are curses in which a parent or ancestral parent that we are in direct lineage of has sinned and opened a door for it to be passed on from one generation to the next. Usually, there is some type of display or manifestation in the natural realm, indicating what the curse is through a person's behavior. No matter how pronounced the manifestation is, it needs to be dealt with through repentance. A curse without a cause cannot settle on a righteous person or a person free of sin. Curses are clearly spoken of in the Bible, and just because the world tells us Jesus became a curse on a tree for us, does not mean we can't still get a curse actively working in our lives. We either get curses through our sin, or when we get into sin, a curse spoken of by others gets attached to us after we sin, actively affecting us. We need to repent immediately. These things really do affect our thoughts and the thought processes of our mind more than we tend to realize. With generational curses, we also repent of our sins and also the sins of our ancestors. No matter the sin and no matter the type of curse, we need to ask the Lord to take it and break it from us. Then we are appropriating and applying what Jesus did for us by going to the cross and becoming a curse for us. Prayer to break curses. Heavenly Father, I come to you now in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I ask you to quicken me and lead me in prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe that on the cross, you took upon yourself every curse that could and would ever come against me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy every curse that is on me at this time, on my children, my grandchildren, and at this time, including those whose names are and according to thy will lord jesus i ask you to break and destroy any curses ungodly soul ties unholy alliances or any unrighteous agreements that i have entered into destroy any side effects effects residual effects influences or stings of any curses that have been put on me placed on me, declared over me, decreed over me, anyone that I have prayed for today, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings, our businesses, our ministries, and our finances. I ask you to do this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 14, 14. If you are being blessed with this video, I ask you to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe in this channel. We are doing this for the glory and honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I ask you to destroy any witchcraft prayers, charismatic witchcraft prayers, psychic prayers, ungodly soulish prayers, side effects, effects, residual effects, influences, or stings of any witchcraft prayers 
or charismatic witchcraft prayers or psychic prayers, ungodly soulish prayers about me, over or about anyone that I have prayed for today, including my children, my grandchildren, my marriage, my homes, my cars, trucks, offices, my properties, my buildings, my businesses, my ministries, and my finances, my pets. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 14.14. 14. I ask you to destroy any false prophecies that have been prophesied over me or about me or anyone that I have prayed for today, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings, our businesses, our ministries, our finances. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 14.14. 14. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy any hexes, vexes, witchcraft spells, voodoo spells, satanic spells, incantations, chains, fetters, snares, traps, effects, side effects, or residual effects, darts, arrows, stings, claws, spears, darkness, evil imprints, false memories, wrong mindsets, trauma, shock, any unrighteous instruments of the enemy that have attempted to penetrate me, any lies of the enemy, false memories, evil imprints, impressions, wrong thoughts and mindsets that have been spoken into me, over me, anyone that I have prayed for today, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings, our businesses, our ministries, our finances. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 14.14. 14. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy any words, declarations, decrees, effects, side effects, stings, and influences that have been spoken into me, over me, or into anyone or over anyone that I have prayed for today, by ourselves or others, that do not conform to your will or your destiny for our lives or the way you want us to believe and think and do. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, His blood covenant, Psalms 91, and your healing virtue over me, into me, my spirit, mind, will, desires, emotions, ego, imaginations, anyone I prayed for today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to destroy any assignments or plans that Satan or our spiritual enemies or physical enemies have against me, anyone that I have prayed for today, against our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our finances, our buildings, our businesses, our ministries. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 14.14. 14. To God be the glory. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to pull down and cast aside any demonic stronghold that is in my mind, or that are in the minds of anyone that I have prayed for today. I ask you to pull down every vain imagination in me and in everyone that I have prayed for today and cast them aside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I ask you to pull down every high thought in me and in everyone that I have prayed for today that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and cast them aside in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and to bring every thought captive in each of us to the obedience of Jesus Christ according to 2 Corinthians 10, 3-6. Lord Jesus Christ, 
I ask you to pull down, cast aside, and destroy any demonic strongholds that are over or in me or over or in anyone that I have prayed for today, over our homes, cars, trucks, offices, property, buildings, businesses, ministries, marriages, finances. I ask you to destroy them now according to John 14.14. 14. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to God be the glory. Amen. In the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I command my mind, desires, will, emotions, ego, imaginations, and thoughts to come now to the obedience of Christ in me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy and remove all vain imaginations, demonic strongholds, and any deception that is in my thoughts and mind and cast them aside in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask you to wash my mind clean with the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and enable me to stay in your presence all day long. According to John 14:14, 14, 14, to God be the glory. Amen. Lord Jesus, your word says that your anointing destroys all yokes of bondage. So I ask you now to cause your anointing to break and destroy any yokes of bondages along with all their works, roots, fruits, tentacles, and links that are in my life, the lives of anyone that I have prayed for today, according to John 14:14. 14, 14. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to God be the glory. Amen. If you haven't confessed or received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time to get saved. Or perhaps you have wandered far away from the Lord since you surrendered your life to Him, have backslidden, or started living worldly. Our God is a very loving and very forgiving God. All we have to do is to humble ourselves and ask for forgiveness. The word says in Psalm 103, 12, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. The Bible says in Romans 10, verse 9 to 10, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you recognizing I am a sinner and my sins separates me from you. Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for me and God the Father raised you from the dead. Jesus Christ, come into my heart and change me. I proclaim that you are my Lord and my Savior. And if I were to die today, when I open my eyes, I will be in your arms. I break every covenant with the world, my flesh, and the enemy and make a covenant with you to serve you all the days of my life in jesus name i pray amen now that you have accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior it says in luke 15 10 likewise i say unto you there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. Continue to walk with God by spending time with Him in prayers, reading the Bible, and fellowship with the fellow believers. All praise and glory belongs to God.